Hey, this is Billy Hartle. I work for Troy Lee Designs Factory Red Bull Gas Gas. And let's go over Justin Barsh's bike. In the front end, we run a Renthal 827 Fat Bars. Take a little off both sides just to make it narrow for him. We run a Renthal Medium Compound Grips. Just standard bar mounts. For the triple clamps, yeah, we, run, we just run factory triple clamps. Our levers up front here for the clutch and brake levers. They're uh, pretty standard, just, just machined a little for better comfort. We run just the uh, standard steel braided brake lines on the motorcycle along with factory Brembo uh, master cylinders front and rear. Don't have any uh, windows in the rear brake just to keep from any issues happening there. Uh, standard steering stem and then our front forks they are WP forks just standard coating on them. Pretty neutral position in the clamps. Our whole shot device we run on this thing. We uh, He likes it pretty deep for good uh, so that way it doesn't get too much wheelie off the grate and it's just a one button system. Um, our fork lugs are just standard, standard size fork lugs. Standard front axles. Front brake rotor is Moto, Moto Master rotor with a standard caliper and hanger. For our wheels we use kite spokes laced to DID rims and uh, we have Dunlop tires on there. Standard fuel tank with uh, ETS fuel inside. We like to run a little oversized radiators, radiators just uh, just try to keep the bike cool. He likes to get after it. Uh, our throttle tubes are uh, just standard throttle tubes. Uh, mill map switches or start switches or anything like that. Or specific to make anything more simple for the buttons because we don't got much here. Uh, try to keep it as clean and simple as possible. Our engines are done in-house. Justin likes it a little on the mellow side. He likes to try to ride the bike as hard as he can. And then our clutches are standard. Nothing special going on there. Stock standard engine mounts as well. Uh, electronics on this bike are pretty great stock. Uh, everything's good. Don't really have to do anything crazy with any of that stuff. We do run some grip tape on the frame of Justin's bike just for a little added grip. We run Acroprovic skid plate, uh, carbon fiber, uh, along with the Acroprovic exhaust system. Our brake pedal is a st stock brake pedal uh, just with a factory tip on the end. Better grip with the foot. Uh, we do run a brake snake to keep it from being bent backwards. Our rear brake, everything is uh, pretty standard back there. A couple of factory pieces like the um, master cylinder does not have a window in it anymore. Factory linkage on the bike, um, rear shock also WP. We do run the uh, WP air shock in the rear. Also, Motor Master rear brake rotors as well. We do have um, titanium rear axles and uh, a 120 Dunlop rear tire on our bike with uh, Renthal sprockets and DID chains. Um, and we also have an Acrovic uh, carbon fiber chain block, chain guide in the rear uh, with sta our standard swing arm. We're a standard subframe. Air filter is. Uh, Twin air filters. Uh, we then we run um, Raptor foot pegs, titanium foot pegs. And the nice thing on this is there are no uh, foot peg mounts that come on and off. They're built into the frame, which is really nice. Standard swing arm pivot and throttle syndicate makes our graphics and seat covers. And we run our full wood seat from the front all the way to the back. Uh, we run our standard plastics. Um, nothing, we don't have to do anything too crazy. He uh, pretty much fell in love with this bike as soon as he got on it. and. Um, not too many tricky special things. Likes it pretty much just the way it is. That's about it for uh, Justin Barsha's factory gas gas race bike.